Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Associated Students webinar. My name is Martha Mata. I'm a second year political science major and your AS Director of Communications. But today, I will be your host. We appreciate you all being here and congratulations on becoming a Spartan. Today's goal is to learn all about Associated Students, because whether we're online or in person, just know Associated Students is here to support you. Next slide, please. Some guidelines for today. Your email will be added to the Spartan Scoop, our monthly AS newsletter for future important updates and opportunities. You will also receive a short survey at the end of this webinar, so please feel free to fill that out. The presentation will last approximately 40 minutes, and we will be hearing from some of our AS board members and members of our nine AS departments. For questions, please feel free to chat room anytime or write them down as we will have a Q&A session at the end of this presentation. We're also raffling away two prizes today during our short break, so stay tuned. I'm now pleased to introduce our next speaker, Director of Academic Affairs, Anoop Kaur. What's up, y'all? My name is Anoop Kaur. I'm a junior at SGSU, and my major is biology with a concentration in systems physiology and a minor in chemistry. I'm currently serving my second term as your AS Director of Academic Affairs. I will drop my contact info in the chat if you'd like to reach out later on. Um, welcome to Associated Students. Associated Students' mission is to support and represent the students of San Jose State University by continuing the organization's legacy of student advocacy and leadership to enhance SJSU students' education through high quality programs and services, and also to prepare students as they move towards a thoughtful and pur purposeful life after graduation. Our vision is to strengthen the Spartan community through access to opportunities that inspire educational growth, personal development, and innovation. Associated students include seven departments. We'll be focusing on all of those throughout this presentation. And um, next slide, please. Here are an over. Here is an overview of um, the departments we have here today that will be going into more depth as we continue the presentation. Next slide, please. And then some stuff about associated students, um, our history of our organization. We operate as a 501c3 nonprofit. We were founded in 1897 to provide representation and resources to students. Um, fun fact, we are the first AS founded in the CSU. Um, in 1957, students were paying $10 a semester to support our organization. Today, you all pay $98 a semester with a budget of $9 million. Um, our organization continues to prioritize the needs of students. Some of the services we offer, next slide, please. Um, include alternative transportation, such as VTA and the Clipper card, $100 book vouchers for financial aid students at the beginning of each semester, campus jobs, civic engagement programs, committee and leadership opportunities with student government, the community garden, equipment rental, different events, the print shop, um, scholarships, which you can apply for this semester, and finally volunteer um, opportunities with the CCCAC. Now on to the next speaker. Hello, everyone. My name is Dawson jones Jamal, and I serve as Associated Students Director of Sustainability Affairs for this academic year. And here's a little bit more about our student government. The AS Board of Directors is the official body of student government. It advocates for over 36,000 SJSU students. There are three executive positions on the board and 10 board positions, including my position, Director of Sustainability Affairs and elections are annually held in the spring. Next slide, please. There are many benefits that go along with being a, a part of the board of directors, including leadership positions. You qualify for a priority registration every semester that you are on the board. You receive a stipend ranging 10 to 12 months, and there are conference opportunities to help you grow your leadership and professional profile. You can also serve as and if you are not a board on the board of directors, you can serve as a student at large on our AS committees. 
um, you can also have an opportunity to create positive change on campus and obtain transferable career skills that will help you move on into the professional world. Next slide, please. And here are some of our AS committees. Um, we have academic affairs, which helps with academic needs, the audit committee that meets two to three years. Two to, two to three times a year, um, we go. They go over our financial budget. The executive committee handles internal affairs. The finance committee approves the annual budget. Um, the internal affairs committee goes over the jurisdiction and edits the bylaws and policies. The lobby course committee discusses advocacy on campus. The operations committee goes over services programs of AS as well as the program board committee organized events. The campus affairs committee enhances the awareness of student resources and the student elections commission conducts the AS elections. Next slide. Hi, so I'm Alicia Blair. I am a third year and a hospitality event management major. And I am the student event coordinator for AS events department. So with the events department, we host annual and special events to build an uplift Spartan spirit. Um, we often have a social and educational aspect around our events. And currently this season, we are having virtual events like trivia, paint night, bingo, Instagram, TikTok challenges. And when they were in person, we had events such as the fire on the fountain, which happens every year. And then we have spring events like comedy speakers. We have multiple other speakers um, and just more incorporative events around the school. Next slide. So we also um, are involved with our annual Spartan Squad kickoff. Um, it is a program that encourages students to show Spartan pride by wearing our blue and gold t-shirts at games and events. Spartan Squad is about having pride for being a student at San Jose State University. Next slide. Um, AS Events also has a program called the AS Equipment Rental Program where all students can rent tables, chairs, canopies, um, games, long games, and many more equipments for organizations. On to the next speaker. Hi, good morning. My name is Bonita Molina. I am the AS General Service Assistant. I'm in my fourth year at San Jose State University. I'm also majoring in hospitality event management. Some of the things that we offer here at AS General Services are student organization campus trust accounts. We also offer the affordable textbook program, which I'll go over. We distribute SmartPass Clipper cards, Ace Train and Highway 17 discounted tickets. And then we also offer international student ID cards. Next slide, please. So on the first day of instruction, which will be Wednesday, January 27th, we'll begin accepting applications for our affordable textbook program from 8 a.m. to 5 a.m. or 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. So this is a first come first serve and to qualify you must receive financial aid grants for the spring 2021 term. And if you do qualify and you were accepted, you can redeem your $100 book voucher at the SJSU Spartan bookstore to buy or rent textbooks, school supplies, and technology. For more information, you can always visit our website and the application will be posted on the week of the 25th. Next speaker, please. Hi everyone, um, it's me, your host again. So on to the PTC. So the Print and Technology Center, it's a fairly new department resulting from the merging of the Print Shop and Computer Service Center in 2016. And it offers a wide variety of services for our students, like high-speed color and black and white printing, wide format printing on various media, 20 self-service print, self print stations, so you can do it yourself, um, like really quickly before a class or anything like that. Um, and we have plenty of binding and finishing options. So, 
anything that you need or um, you just need for a class or or even like personal time, like you can just come to the PTC and you can probably do it there. They also have 30 sit down lab computers and tech services. So diagnostics, minor repairs and all that good stuff. Uh, and on speaker. Good morning, everyone. Um, today uh, we would usually be having a raffle, but today we'll be skipping to this. So then um, I will pass it on to the next speaker. Okay, hi, my name is Caitlin Weinhurst. Um, I am a student assistant for the uh, uh, government office and I am a fourth year in my major in sociology. So today I'll be talking about the Child Development Center, also known as the CDC. The Child Development Center is a licensed nonprofit early childhood and care program. Uh, the center employs approximately 100 staff with the majority of them being SJSU students. The CDC serves families of SJSU students staff, faculty, and community at large. Children four months to five years old can attend the center. The curriculum is based upon the current research and best practices in early childhood education and brain development of children prenatal to five years old. Next slide, please. The CDC's infant toddler program consists of children four to 30 months and the preschool program has children two to five years. Throughout the day, the CDC professional chef and kitchen team serve the children four daily nutritious meals. In addition, the program helps the physical needs of the children by providing free annual vision, dental, and hearing screenings. Next slide, please. please. Um, so um, when it comes to priority of picking the children that come to join the program, usually it will be SJSU students um, who are parents, then it goes to uh, faculty, staff, and alumni, and then third would be the community. Um, and then if qualified for subsidized pay from zero to $529. Um, next slide, please. And then lastly, the CDC is accredited by the National Association of Education for Young Children, Santa Clara County Qu Quality Rating and Improvement Systems, and Santa Clara County's Office of Education Inclusive Cooperative. Next, next presenter. Good morning, everyone. My name is Diana Victa. I'm the department manager of the Cesar Chavez Community Action Center. So in short, the Cesar Chavez Community Action Center connects San Jose State students with a variety of civic engagement opportunities that deepen the educational experience. But most importantly, um, we're here to cultivate the next generation of social justice philanthropists. Um, a couple of program highlights that we provide to our campus community, um, as mentioned earlier, uh, volunteer and service learning opportunities, whether that's volunteering with K through 12 youth um, or a campus community garden. We also provide opportunities that really um, enriches uh, critical thinking skills connected to social justice. So some of that might look like the Spartan Legacy Training Academy, a workshop series focused on transformational leadership, um, our In Solidary programs, a program focused on social justice um, issues that are related to some of the experiences student orgs or students might be experiencing on campus, um, and Legacy Month, um, essentially a month to honor the rich history of activism at San Jose State. Next slide, please. Hi, everyone. This is Caitlin. I'm the Campus Garden Coordinator. So the campus garden was established um, basically from a group of students that saw a need for students to have access to healthy food um, and learn about organic gardening and environmental um, justice issues. And it also serves as space to earn service learning hours. So um, just a few highlights of programs we've had in the past or that are ongoing. Um, so when we're on campus <laughs> and we're allowed to be on campus, we have volunteering and service learning opportunities. Um, we've also hosted yoga at the garden, mindful art at the garden. We do food demos, which have taken place virtually this year, as well as a harvest festival and lots of other things. But a great way to find out about our events is to check out our website or look at the CCCAC's social media. Next slide. 
Um, again, here are a couple of highlights, program highlights that we've done um, over the last couple of years. Um, again, as Caitlin mentioned, we did vision board making at the garden, just a few fun activities that we do outside of just gardening. Um, again, we mentor K-12 youth. One of the catchphrases that both Caitlin and I have said is service learning hours at some point in your academic journey. Um, your professors will ask you to volunteer at least 10 to 100 hours um, before you graduate. So we're essentially a center on campus that provides you with the opportunities to fulfill those hours. Um, and then lastly, we have Rooted Social Justice Music and Festival. I think oftentimes when we think about social justice, um, we, talk, we think about it um, in a very serious light and it is serious and um, there's ways to celebrate um, to celebrate social justice um, and we do it through Rooted, our social justice music festival. Um, one of the, the fun things about it is showcasing, you know, murals, um, life art, um, social justice music. Um, so a really different way to engage in social justice that way. Next slide, please. Um, and then many of you all might be wondering what we are doing um, as we are um, working, as we are engaging digitally. Um, so here are a couple things that we're doing. So our student assistants are hosting a variety of IG lives, anywhere from arts and activism to mood Mondays, to yoga sessions, um, to interviews with uh, community partners. Those are just some examples of what we're doing. Um, and then again, if you are interested in learning about what we do, um, really just check out our Instagram. We're always on it, we're always posting. Um, and yeah, next speaker, please. Hello everybody, my name is Carlos Escobar. I am the commute coordinator here at AS Transportation Solutions. Now Transportation Solutions, also known as TS commonly, connects SUSU students to affordable, stress-free, sustainable commute options to campus throughout the greater San Francisco Bay Area. Now, one of the main things that most people know about us is the BTA Smart Pass Clipper card. Now, what's rad about the BTA Smart Pass, it, it allows students to be able to travel across Santa Clara County, San Jose, to Palo Alto, to Gilroy, Campbell, and as far up as Milpitas. And with it, you get unlimited rides on BTA local and, and rapid buses, such as the 522 and the 500, for example, as well as a 50% discount on express buses, which most students commonly would be using the express bus 168 Gilroy to San Jose. Can we proceed to the next slide, please? Thank you. We also sell regional transit discounted tickets at our, at our office through General Services Center. Thank you, Maritza. Um, <laughs> yes, so specifically, we sell two discounted tickets. We do the Ultimate Corridor Express ACE train which gives, which is a 50% discounted discount on 20 rides and monthly passes for commuters who are coming from as far as Stockton, Manteca, Lathrop, Tracy, the Tri-Valley area and Fremont. We also offer discounted tickets for the high, Santa Cruz Highway 17 Express Bus, which comes in the forms of the 15 rides uh, pass as well as the th 31 day pass as well. This is specifically for folks who are coming from Santa Cruz County who would like to take the bus to campus. Next slide, please. Now, we also have six bike, secure bicycle enclosures here on campus that you can park your bicycle at. Now, if you don't have a bicycle, don't fret about it. We can actually help you get in connection with uh, Bay Wheels to get the discounted membership and where you can take the Bay Wheels lift bikes from wherever you're coming from straight to campus, which I believe there's about three stations right, right within a a short five to 10 minute walk, or even on campus as well. Next slide, please. Now, we, what we'll find ourselves with commonly is that, oh, okay, well, you know what? I really need to get to that place immediately, right? And the best way, or maybe that place to get to just doesn't have great access to public transit. Don't fret about it. Through San Jose State University, you can get a discount with Zipcar, which is a car sharing uh, program and where uh, you essentially rent out a car uh, by the hour. And all you need is to be to, is to have a driver's license, as well as being at least 18 and older, and you can rent out a car as long as you need. If you need any more additional information, please visit our website at ts.suc.edu. Thank you. Hello again. 
So that's it for the presentation. Thank you to all our panelists for introducing us to AS. Make sure to follow us on social media and check out our website. Visit us when our offices are open. We will now be moving on to our Q&A session. So if anyone has any questions, please feel free to type it in the chat. All right, well, if there are no questions, thank you so much for coming today. Um, and we hope to see you soon. Go Spartans. <laughs>